My favourite cup competition is back, it's the Emirates FA Cup, the stuff of dreams and today we're travelling to Harrow Borough for a first qualifying round tie. We have to put Monday behind us after shipping five at Wharton and Hersham on Bank Holiday Monday but today is a good opportunity for a first away win this season against a side who are in the same league as us and already are struggling and looking like relegation candidates. They did officially get relegated last season but stayed up on a reprieve after Met Police took a voluntary relegation. We have dipped into the loan market and brought in defender Gabe George from Slough Town who won the Young Player of the Season accolade last season. Welcome Gabe! The win today would put us back in good spirits and I for one hope for some cup magic and it would help us going into our next league fixture at home to Tiverton next Saturday. Let's smash 50 likes on this video, that would make me ever so happy. You guys are smashing it at the moment, each video, and I for one, greatly appreciate your support. And of course, channel memberships are still available for just 99p per month. You get badges and custom emojis, that sort of lark. So you can join the channel for as long as you possibly want. Let me know down in the comments below how your team got on this weekend in the FA Cup. And of course, there is that possibility you guys could be going to a replay on Tuesday or Wednesday night. So drop your results down in the comments below. There's been a fair amount of traffic on the way here today. But look, we have made it to the ground. Football! One thing I forgot to mention on the way here is we did make the first round last season at home to Ipswich Town. That was a great journey for the Robins last season. And Harry Burrow, would you believe, two seasons ago, played away at Portsmouth in the first round, only to lose 1-0. So my prediction today, I'm very confident. I'm going to say a 3-0 Bratnell Town victory. Obviously, we've got to respect the opposition. They could come out and you know beat us today. But I'm confident we can get the job done and make it through to the second qualifying round stage. Gemma, what is your score prediction? My score prediction today is a 4-0 win. I've, I've got of every confidence in the boys today so yeah 4-0 today in the FA Cup Today I'm looking forward to it more than I, I think should have been because we need to get our first away win of the competitive season so yeah let's get inside the ground Look at this for the first time ever we are parked directly behind the goal how unique is that I mean I think that is absolutely bizarre but look at it so close to the ground we can even sit from the boot of the car and watch a game look at that brilliant can't forget the speaker just take a look at the size of these dugouts. I mean, I think even I'd struggle to get in there. Look at that, made of bricks. Something a bit different, isn't it? A little ground review. So, the pitch looks very nice, it has to be said. It's well cut, it looks it looks really good generally, I think. Um, in terms of behind the goal, no one to cover terrace in, which is quite disappointing, but still got some steps there. So you can get a bit of height behind the goals. Got a nice seated stand over here, which is quite good, and we got a fairly big standing terrace over this side of the pitch but overall I'm actually I think it's a much nicer pitch than what I was expecting it to be overall I'd say it's it's not a bad ground obviously yeah elephant in the room parking behind the goal what on earth is Joey doing Best instrument of the day. <laughs> Nana's on the ball. Oh, 
Moose. What are we doing the last bit? What is the last bit? Moose. Moose. I forgot his name. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Early signs are good, we're dominating the ball quite well, putting a lot of pressure going forwards. Had a few good opportunities already, apart from that. <laughs> oh. Nearly in from the corner, direct. That would have been impressive. So Chicken, what do you think of the first half? Well, I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, we, we had a few chances uh, and we don't take them. I mean, yes, it's great to be 1-0 up, um, uh, you know, and no disrespect to the opposition, but I think really, if you look at the possession stats, uh, Brett are doing superbly. But, you know, we've got to keep that pressure on, not, not let anything go to our heads. And uh, if we do that, then obviously, you know, we'll get a result. But I'm going to say to the guys, you know, keep that pressure up. I can't believe I've just done an interview of a chicken of all things but a dominant first half display one nil lead joey grant great shot Gemma, that was a very dominant first half display wasn't it yeah we should be at least three nil up at this rate but hopefully we get some more goals plenty more in the second half yeah i mean that was more much more like it defensively looked great as well up front we had plenty of opportunities joe grant missing the sitter there but overall i think it's been a really good first half good sign of things to come hopefully i think I think 3 or 4 nil definitely if we keep this up, but we've got to make more of our chances. But very happy, looking forward to the second half, up the <laughs> Robins. <laughs> so casual. <laughs> what are you looking at? Yeah, but yeah. And now four's going, yeah? What the clocking? What the clocking? What the clocking? How is that? Selfie time with Nugget.
Well, that was a clucking good result, wasn't it? Sorry about the chicken jokes for that video. There's a lot of chicken chicken clips, wasn't there, of Nugget, our beloved new mascot of Bracknell Town. But we did it. Not only did we get our first away win of the season, it was the FA Cup, not league season, obviously, so our first competitive away win, but also we kept the clean sheet, which is fantastic. So, Gemma, what do you make of that game overall? I think a, a disappointing second half, wasn't it? We didn't get that many chances, but obviously <laughs> the second goal was scored by Franklin near the end of the game. So, Gemma, your thoughts on that game? Yeah, no, first half we played really well. We should have been up really 3-0. Um, but second half, I think we lost lost our bit of form, uh, form there in the second half. But anyway, we still did it. We did to come back, come lucky enough to have that 2-0 clean sheet in the FA cluck now. So yeah, so yeah, it was good, all good. And it was a lovely day in the sun. Yeah, a bit too hot for my liking. I complain about hot weather, but yeah, it's an FA Cluck victory. Oh God, I'm so sorry. But yeah, what a great day. A great, a fantastic first half. But I think we weren't as great in the second half, but there was still some good spells, don't get me wrong. But I'm just happy we won a game away from home today. Next Saturday, we're at home to Tiverton back in the league. Um, we have, so we haven't got a replay now Tuesday, which is fantastic. But yeah, we march on into the second qualifying round of the FA Cup. Some shock results today in the FA Cup. I'm not going to go through any of them because there's too many to mention. Um, but of course, it's great to have the FA Cup back. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe for more non-league content, especially Brattle Town content. Well, we've had a wonderful day, but now it's time for a long drive home. But until then, thank you for watching, and we see you guys very, very soon. Come on, up the Robins! Football!